Hello world, welcome to Machine Learning AI. Previously on ML AI, we discussed estimators, numerical optimizations, tensorboard visualization and so on. Today, I came up with a good news for you all. For those who wants to learn machine learning through quick experimentations. We already know that Keras, a high-level deep learning library, is now officially an internal module of TensorFlow. For those who are new to TensorFlow, TensorFlow is an open source machine learning library for research and production. So you can use TensorFlow in your academics for your research and in industry for all your industrial applications. The other exciting good news is you can kickstart your experiments right now without the hassle of setting up an environment in your personal computer. Yes, it is true. What all you require is a computer with internet access and a Google account. Of course, deep passion and deep motivation to learn and apply deep learning. In this video, I will demonstrate you how can you build your own first deep learning model using TensorFlow Keras on Google Collaboratory. So what is Google Collaboratory? Google Collaboratory is a Jupyter notebook environment for you where all the required modules are installed. It's like a sandbox for you. Google is aimed to disseminate the machine learning knowledge to everyone. So you can use it for free if you just have a Google account. So let's get started. So we're gonna see TensorFlow, Keras and Collaboratory. We are here in Collaboratory environment where I have opened a notebook. I'll provide the link below so that you can by clicking on it you can open a notebook with your account here I am creating one simple neural network for you guys to try yourself so we are using TensorFlow Keras on collaboratory hence our deep learning is made so easy Charlotte has just uh, tweeted recently on July 18 that people are still struggling using TensorFlow that means you haven't updated see the latest version have everything updated you have all the beautiful high-level features it's so easy now go to this document and read through it you will really enjoy it if you are a Keras user before your life is made so easy and don't be afraid if you are a TensorFlow user now. It's so abstract so you can apply your experiments so easily. So let's get started with this. We are importing required packages. TensorFlow has TF and I'm using MNIST dataset. So importing MNIST dataset is pretty easy. From Keras datasets get MNIST okay then load and pre-process the data so it, it will give you training and testing tuples from load data method of MNIST then we are just uh, normalizing by dividing the training data set by 255 so you have training and testing data is normalized if it is not downloaded for you before it will download automatically all you need is internet don't forget that once you get the data and you have pre-processed then you need to define your model defining a model with the tfkras is very easy so we are building a sequential model you just add layers to it so it will become your entire neural network so here we are adding a flatten layer at the input stage and then we are adding a dense layer with 5 dual hidden units and applying an activation of relu 
then we are adding dropout of 0.2 and dense function at the output layer with 10 units which is the number of classes for MNIST data set and the activation function at the output is softmax in order to extract the probabilities of being one cl class out of 10 so we'll get the probabilities so once you define your model you will get the model instance you need to compile it by specifying optimizer which you want to use and loss function and metrics metrics will give you the results into so compilation is done then it's time to train the model so model is having fit method where it will take the training data and this I'm running it for five number of epochs so it's being trained so once the training is completed go and test your model so evaluating is also easy model has evaluate method which can be tested on your testing data which is unseen while training it will give you loss and accuracy values if you see the loss and accuracy for the model we trained on the data is 98 percent of accuracy and 0.064 is a loss so here what we cover is we are implementing a simple neural network model with the tensorflow keras in a very abstract level very high level and we are using google's collaboratory which will reduce uh, your setting up time of environments so importing different libraries setting up the environment is it's a kind of hustle sometimes it works sometimes it not works we might face issues with the versions of the packages so if you use collaboratory it will be super cool for you so it's a simple model uh, you can try increasing layers here you can try different methods for yourself I just wanted to give you the basics of TensorFlow, Keras and Collaboratory. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please do like, subscribe, share with your friends. I'll put the links required to get the code in the description below. Thank you.